Hi there, welcome back to my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you something very quick. Just a quick tip, something that uh, somebody asked me the other day how to do a specific thing. And uh, I thought I would um, show you how to do it as well. So what they asked me was, how do I uh, modify my mesh halfway through painting? If, I, if I've got a imperfection in the actual geometry, my UV mapping is a bit skew and I want to go and tweak it or change it. How do I go and change it and update my mesh without destroying all of the work that you've put into it? into your mesh already. Now it's very, very simple to do that. You can see I've got this barrel here and I've deliberately broken it. If you look at the top, I've got this bit that sticks out here. Um, and I've started some work on it. I've started um, a material on it and tweaked some of the values. And um, what we'll do actually is we'll put another layer on and we'll paint we'll paint in it as well just so you can see paint in this layer here we go right all around where the error is like that just as you can see it's going to get fixed like that, there you go, okay. Okay, so let's just put... Fix me across there like that. It's like some sort of graffiti. Let me just uh, save this before we start. Broken steel bow, there's my project. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go and fix it. We're gonna I'm not gonna straighten it, but we're gonna fix this edge so it's nice and rounded like a bow should be. I know it's a bit dented anyway, but that's how it was. But this was a bit too extreme and I just whoop, just pulled it out deliberately so we could actually go in and fix it. So so I'm gonna jump into 3D studio like this, and here's my barrel. And I'm going to modify this mesh. So we're just gonna pull these verts back so that they're in line. We've got a nice straight, a nice curved barrel. Not straight, I keep saying straight, but a nice curved barrel. A nice curved edge on that barrel, like so. Let's just pull that out. Like that. That's a bit better. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll just take this out as well. This is a bit, you know, I don't like the look of that. Too many vats there. Let's just pull these out like so. And, you know, you don't need Max to do this, obviously. You can use any package you want. And just to, just to top it off, let's just do some of these. Okay, let's just... Deselect all those like that. Pull these out so the top here is nice curved. Yes, we want that nice dent in the side there. There we go. It's my bow. It's no longer. Oh, okay, then. let's just fix that as well because that looks a bit odd. So the more you fix, it's supposed to be dented. The, the project I was doing this for. Um, wanted a broken dented up barrel and that's what I did but um, here we go let's just fix that okay let's just pull that out a bit there we go okay all right so there's a few fixes there and uh, say so that's what I want I need to export this as an FBX again and we'll call this um, Export, we'll call it fixed steel bow there. Save, yes. Okay, so we've go back into substance. We fixed it, now we're gonna go back into substance. And we're gonna bring it into here and retain all the work that we've done. 
um, but just swap out the mesh. So all you have to do is go to edit, go to project configuration, select where it says mesh project mesh, click on select, select your fixed steel barrel or whatever your mesh may be, click open, leave everything and go OK. And there we are. There's my barrel fixed with no loss of work. Still got the material that I put on there, still got the paint that I put on there. There was a slight shift in the UVs, uh, but I think that was because the actual geometry moved and then it just updated the UVs, but you can see. There we go, that's it. That's all you have to do. And now you can just carry on and paint away. Just carry on. That's it. Simple as that. So thank you for watching and do come back because I've got a lot more planned and a lot more coming. I'm just preparing a lot of stuff at the moment. So um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.